What's up, my boy? From that city with juice, ain't no pity or truces. When we dip in gun smoke's conclusive. Don't act clueless, hella foolish in the 90s. And GP shotgun when we ride. Solid on the yard, name hard on these streets. Did my crimes, gangster rhymes on dope beats. Still fuck laws, ain't no pause in our demeanor. Rest in peace, Muggsy and my road dog creeper. Ways to put it down, no fear of new cases. Years ago, though, it was guns and chases. 714 on my shoulders, kept it active. Roll like soldiers, G code ain't passive. Still Mac and Ratchet, still packed at the waist. Still stacking racks, still flash when they hate. Now it's podcasts and videos with pretty hoes. Me and George banging orange till the city's known, really though. OG White, we keep it moving smooth like every day. In this industry, so they go now, they go. How we do we on these streets for sure? Streets for sure. We make that green, don't you go, go, go. We make it moves all day, all day, all day, all day. Grew up in the streets of the LB. We don't love these hoes, what they tell me. Packed up and moved to the OC. Me and George ballin' like Shaq and Kobe. Fuck bitches get money, living wealthy. Bad bitches screaming, let me get a selfie. Big stop, she beat some real G. Side dick is the general of an army. Egg she podcasting in the morning. Don't say F A, here's your warning. That other bullshit be boring. With some goofy ass question, that's corny. Taught me, let me finish my story. Shooting shots, game six, rubber ore. Smoking blunts in the bus while I'm touring. Now, welcome to George Perez Stories. This industry. What's up, my boy? George Perez right here A George Perez Stories, episode 293. George Perez Stories is brought to you by JB's Tree Service Landscape and Installation. Look, guys, are squirrels having arm wrestling tournaments on your lawn? Are the grasshoppers doing drive-bys with the ants? Hit up my boys at JB's Tree Service Landscape and Installation, and they will take care of the lawn. Like to break it down. What does JB's Tree Service Landscape and Installation do? They do tree removal, stump removal, irrigation, landscaping. They do like the planters. They got the bricks. Fellas, my lawn looks so good. People came trick-or-treating to my house this year. Hit up my boys at JB's Tree Service Landscape and Installation. If your lady lets you have an Instagram, it's J. M B A R R I O S 12. J M B A R R I O S 12. Tell them that your favorite Cholo sent you. Also, George Press Stories is brought to you by the dankest of the dank. They got fresh gear, they got stuff to make your eyes turn red. Hit up my boys at high 90s. X to the G, what it be? What's up, dog? I don't... What's up? You nothing? <laughs> <laughs> you're like a fucking like when I talk to you sometimes I feel like you're like in the witness protection program dog like you always have the same answer look at these lights dog oh that fucking they don't up. help yeah are you, you I'm used... ready for when ice is gonna talk to me yeah yeah like what's up this is I'm just gonna be like what's lights? up yeah I'm be like what's up <laughs> 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 when ice looks at me like what's up right speaking of somebody that knows or oh, what's up <laughs> He's going to be in Austin, Texas, the 18th and the 19th. Right. At the Volcom. I'm going to be there featuring for him. My boy Lips is going to be in the building as well, everybody. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the, the pride and joy of fucking 
East LA or Hollywood, the OG <laughs> of comedy. Willie Barsan is back in the building. Oh, thank, thank you for having me, fellas. Thank you, man. Yeah, dog. Gracias. Man. Oh, thank you, brother. And and and, uh, and like always, man. You know, we 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 we're here with some uh, smooth smooth drinks, and then that's that's what counts, right? <laughs> what, what did you bring us right now? What is Casa Amigos? By Casa Amigos, uh, Reposado, <clears throat> and I like it. I like it. <clears throat> It makes me feel better if I drink it on the rocks, bro. For some reason, psychologically, <clears throat> I feel like it's healthy because it has water. You know what I mean? Because the ice <laughs> melts, funny. and I yeah, feel, I, honestly, bro, I feel like, I feel like, hey, it's not that bad, you know, because I have water. So I'm kind of doing uh, two things, you know, I'm hydrating while I'm drinking. Is tequila your right? go-to, <laughs> right? Is, is tequila your go-to? Yeah, bro. Is Only there a reason you do reposado over the other one or tequila? No, no. I just like I like the taste, but there's a reason I do drink tequila because if you look up, uh, you do your research on on alcohol. Of all the alcohols, the healthiest mm -hmm. one for you is tequila, and I can't tell you why because there's certain things in tequila that other alcohols don't have that are natural. So as far as well, as, as far as yeah, <laughs> as far as as far as fucking up your liver. All alcohols fuck up your liver, yeah. right? Yeah. But this one does it the least. You know what I mean? It's like 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 it's like fighting a little midget. He's gonna fuck you up eventually, but but yeah. not that fast. You know, so that's one of the reasons, man. Tequila is considered a healthier choice than other alcohol drinks because it has less sugar and calories, unlike most distilled. Tequila also has low levels of impurities like methanol and fused oils when consumed in reasonable amounts. Yeah, you think I would, I would have remembered that shit? Fuck no, bro. <laughs> you know, I, I don't. I know. I, I know this, this, you know, that's the, that's why I always failed tests when I was in school, bro. Because the <laughs> tests would give you like, you know, they would t specifics, right? Like, what's an alcohol? I mean, why is tequila? And I would just put it's better than the other alcohol. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> no and, and and yeah, bro. What was your first alcohol? No, that was it, bro. It was always tequila because of that Mexican thing, you know. It was always what do because you mean of that Mexican. You thing? know, like growing up, you hear Jose Alfredo Jimenez. Oh, you hear, shit. You, hear, you know, you hear Vicente Fernandez. You, you hear uh, who, who's your, who was it? Javier Solis. Yeah. So that's I, so, so so and then when I was a kid, we used to uh, we used to go to a driving in, in in East LA, bro. It was called the El Floral. And, and in Florida, back in the 70s, it was a dollar a car. And uh, and you know how many Mexicans can pack in one car, bro? Hell yeah. So that would be like, car? I don't know, we had an old fucking rusty, like, 50s car. But it, was, it wow. wasn't fixed up. It was just... Rusty, but yeah, we used <laughs> to go a dollar no, a car, a dollar a car, bro. That's it was, so it, it, dope. It was a Florida drive-in. Did you guys bring your own food? Still, uh, yeah, bro. You know what? <laughs> yeah, hardly anybody went to the to the uh, snack stand because you know you're how the, we, like your generation. We, we bring is burrito, the OG. bro. My tell mom us, used to take, us. bro. I went to. We used to go to the movies, like the movie theaters, and we would have like fucking burritos bro <laughs> honestly bro How, I, I, don't get know, them in? I don't know my mom put them in her purse and then as soon as it got dark she's like you know starts <laughs> handing out the burritos we're eating burritos we didn't have money for the hot dog bro hot dog was like a dollar bro it was like crazy money you know what i mean <laughs> crazy money yeah, said a dollar what do you mean as soon as it got dark you yeah you know no no yeah no no because you're there watching the movie and as soon as they turn on the lights right i mean yeah. they, they turn off the lights and the, and the movie premieres And then they start handing out the burritos, bro. <laughs> and it was always, it was always bean and cheese, bro. Always bean and cheese. I remember oh, that. Yeah. But um, and, and queso fresco, right? Queso, queso fresco. Or listen, we were on, we were not on welfare, bro. Because my mom was like, "Fuck that shit," you know, this that. But she would talk all that shit. But the the neighborhood, the 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 people that were on welfare would sell their cheese. So we would buy, like, okay. welfare cheese from them. That government we, yeah, block? The government, that block, yeah. yeah. So she would buy it from them. So, so we, yeah, it would, it would be made with that cheese, bro. But no, man, fuck. It was delicious, bro. If you're if you're a kid and you're fucking hungry, a fucking beating cheese burrito is like fucking lobster, bro. <laughs> it really <laughs> it is, is, man. Bro. You're like, oh, and you savor. And to this day, I eat like that, you know. And I didn't realize, I, I was like, I'm wondering, like, why do people say that? They go, damn, Willie, when you eat, you, you you make the food look delicious, man. Because when you're a kid, Adam, we didn't have a lot of food, bro. Yeah, you know, so, so you can so make I, ghetto fabulous. Yeah, yeah. So when I eat, man, I'm I'm just fucking savoring it, you know? Because I, I don't know. I think you really I, I, cherish it. Yeah, dog. I think a lot of things that, well, a lot of things that happened in our childhood is why we act the way we act today, man. You it, know? it is exactly Bro, I used, to, I used to go home from high school uh, with this friend of my, my friend Sal, who's still my friend to this day. 
And his mom is like, just turned 94, bro, okay? She's still Damn. alive. And um, I used to go home with him after high school because they always had food. I didn't have food, bro. My mom was a f- bitch didn't give a fuck, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I'm like, where the fuck am I going to get food, man, you know? And then, um, shit, like, the only reason I went to school was because, remember the lunch the tickets? Lunch ticket. Yeah, bro. <laughs> so I, I remember I would, I would, oh, man, my friend's mom, bro, they were poor, they were poor too. But, you know, they knew how to uh, 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 create things. And I remember my favorite, bro, was Kala. She would make, like, big pots because he had eight brothers. So wow. so, so she would have to make a lot, bro. And I remember she would make my – to this day, bro, if you give me a plate of this, I fuck, all these emotions, bro. I, I probably start crying, bro, because it was so fucking good. And it's calabazas. I don't, oh, I don't yeah, know. How do you say calabazas in English? Squash. 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 Yeah. It was calabazas. calabazas. It was calabazas. Oh. It's squash, really? Yeah. God damn, bro. I'm going to be I'm going to be hollow, bro. Okay, okay. It was calabazas. You thought it was pumpkin, pumpkin? I don't know what it was, dick. Right? <laughs> so, bro. So, it was, <laughs> it was calabazas with, with corn and cheese and oh. tomato. And there was this dish that is like... All the Mexican families have it. That shit, that yeah. yeah, yeah, man, you get that with some with some corn tortillas, bro. It's, it's oh, over. that's it, that's it, bro. Yeah, and it's the healthiest dish. It's so super healthy, man. Yeah. I mean, other than the cheese, but but yeah, man. Fuck. I don't know how we got into that stuff. No, nah, we were we were bad. You're dog. making me hungry. Is what's going right. on? <laughs> nah, yeah. I don't now, as a matter of fact, check this out, bro. Uh, my friend told me that uh, uh, his uh, his mom's turning ninety four. Uh, and uh, I went, I went, I hadn't seen her in 20 years, bro. I had, you know, and uh, I went to go visit her. I knock on the door. She didn't remember me. Check this out, bro. I have flowers for her. All right. Oh, wow. She's a little viejita, sweetest kind of little, little Mexicana lady, right? And I go, no se acuerda de mi, señora. And she goes, no, mijo, no. I go, soy el, soy el amigo de Sal. And she goes, oh, si, sí, como estas? And like, it started coming back to her. Oh, wow. And I go, and I told her, I gave her the flowers. I said, para su cumpleaños, you know? And then I said, uh, I said, I want to thank you. And she goes, para que? Para que me da las gracias? You know, she's telling me, like, why? And I go, because you don't know. All through 10th grade, 11th grade, and my senior year, you fed me. Bro, she, her eyes got watery, bro. Wow. And she goes, and then she started saying, this is exactly what she said, bro. She goes, mijo. Yo no sabía que era tu situación. Like, she didn't know what Your my situation, situation yeah. was. Yeah. She goes, yo nomás, tú vinías y, y te gustaba comer y te vas de comer. I go, I go no, no. I, I didn't want her to simplify it. I go, no, 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 no era así. Usted yeah. me dio de comer de tres años que yo estaba en high school. And she got, she got emotional, bro. I, I ain't going to lie. So did I, bro. I was like, well, bro, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man. That's that, uh, shit. Yeah, so uh, beautiful lady. Those things you don't forget, right? You know, no, I, mean? I don't forget it. Like where where I grew up, like I grew up with five brothers, and my dad was like cartel, but like had a job too. He, we were his fifth family. Oh, we shit. were the only family he stayed with. Oh, so you guys were the only ones that got the food. <laughs> yeah, like, no, he gave like he had two jobs. One was for child support, okay. and one was for us. Okay. But, like, my mom was so beautiful and charming and charisma, a great woman. He did that for her, dog. Okay. No, yeah. I... And, uh, like, there was times my did mom... She, and... Did your mom cook, bro? Yeah, but... So she can cook? She can get uh, down, but, bro. like, there was times where my dad was like, look, your oldest brother's 16. I know, you, I know, you're, I know you're fucking eight. I'm, we're taking off for two weeks, eh? So we had to, like, fucking fend for ourselves and eat. And it was a fucking... What do you mean? Why? She wouldn't cook or what? No, she would have to leave with my dad. Oh, on, on those runs? Yeah. Oh, like, okay. Hey, we're going to go bring back like 10 immigrants right Right, now. right, right, right. We're right, going right. come back with some fed, y'all. Yeah, right, right. And did they come back with... with... Hell yeah. yeah no. So you went to Disneyland huh, a lot? No. No? Oh, no. I figured... Uh, I don't know. I, listen, bro. I remember... <laughs> hey, hold on, hold on. No, like, did you ever go to Disneyland? Bro, I'm going to tell you something that... Before you were 18? No, no. Check this out. This is when my mom <laughs> took us to Disneyland, bro. And and she told me and my sister. And my my younger one was, was like five, uh, like two, two or three. I was eight. My older one was t- 10. Right? Like that. So my mom said this to us, bro. 
And she wasn't fucking around, bro. You think it's a joke. People think it's a joke, but she goes, we're... We're at, we're at, you know, the kid is Disneyland. You're walking around, bro. You're fucking running. You run to the next fucking ride, right? Yeah, hell so, yeah. So now it was like lunchtime, right? And I swear to God, me and my sister go to my mom. We're fucking eight years and ten years old. And I said, Mom, man, we're hungry, you know? And she goes, ah. Yeah. <laughs> right? She goes like this. Why, did you want to come? Do that again, <laughs> no, right? she would always do that. She said, nah. Right? <laughs> So, so, yeah, bro. And she goes like, this bitch tells us this. Tells me and my sister. She goes, pues querían ir a Disneyland o querían comer? Which one? You should have told me because if you wanted to go eat, I would have taken you to go eat somewhere. So, wow. so you, yeah. So me and my sister are like, oh, this bitch, man. Right? So we're like, all right, whatever. Don't buy shit then, right? Huh. <laughs> 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 Bro, I think I think the bitch felt guilty because like I think two hours later we're all dizzy and shit, you know. And she's like, "All right, let's walk and on hot dog." Right? I was like, "All right, Dad, thank you, bitch." You know, we're eating the hot dog like. And, like, it was never sweet, bro. There was never tender moments. It wasn't like, hear me, okay, I can't start to hot dog. It was like, aquí, arta te wey. You know? Yeah. Fucking like that. I was like, fucking bitch, man. I was eating all mad and shit. Hey, but did your mom <laughs> ever eat good in front of you? Did your mom ever be like... Oh, that bitch used to eat good because... Wow. I'll tell you why. I'm going to tell you why she ate good. Because she was no dummy, bro. Her, her, she had a lot of... Like, her, her father, my grandfather, uh -huh. really smart, bro. He was a doctor in Chihuahua. Oh, All right, shit. and he was also a classical music composer. So she came from wealth, bro. She came from a lot of money. And what happened was, um, oh, th his the mom, m my mom's mom, uh -huh. was his second wife, and he shit. was fifty something, and she was twenty one, twenty two. Oh, so well, it's kind I, of his mistress wife. Yeah, and but she left. He left his first wife, and yeah, one of her of had. Anyway, so so. This young lady did not know how to take care of money. Exactly. So when he died, which he died after all the kids were born, right, uh, she, they became poor as fuck. You know, so she went from having, like, maids and, yeah. and shit, right, to fucking ended up in Juarez marrying my dad, you know, who was a, a piece of shit. Wow. You know? So that's why she was an angry fucking human being, bro. But, hey, your dad was her karma. Yeah, I don't. Uh, <laughs> yeah, bro. You know what? It's, it's like I always used to say, bro. And, 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 and you know, like for years, you know, when you're a kid, you get mad because your dad leaves you, right? Because I don't understand. You're a kid. You you can't put uh, adult uh, uh, stories together, man. You're just a child. And I remember thinking, like, when I was a kid, like my dad, like, fuck that motherfucker, man. Left me. Left my mom. Fucking asshole. And then you know. And then I, I had this whole life with my mom, right? I got to know her. And my mom was a, fucking, was a fucking asshole, bro. She was not a good person. She was a fucking bitch, bro. So as I got older, I realized, well, I get it. I get Maybe I understand why he left. You know what I mean? Yeah. Maybe, <laughs> you know, like I would have left too. You know, like, fuck you, bitch. You it know? was like that, Willie? She, we didn't get along at all, bro. We didn't get along. Um, and my sisters like her. My older sisters just fucking like her. Just the same kind of fucking energy so bro. your mom is like the mom from sopranos bro the mom from <laughs> sopranos makes my mom look like a sweetheart wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow hey dude bro, that like, bitch hey, is evil on the sopranos hey, 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 hold on hold on and okay and what does tony soprano do he sees a shrink what does Willie do? I go see a shrink, bro. I was on therapy. Wow. Hey, for let's make a show called the Santanos. Let's do it, bro. I'm fucking. You know what? Listen, you'd be perfect, hey, Tony. Hey, bro. My 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 sister, my older sister, who looks just like her. She. I'm glad she's got that same ugly face. Um, <laughs> that, that, that was the universe telling her, "Fuck yeah. you, bitch. If you're gonna be evil like her, you're gonna look like her." <laughs> so. I, uh, she's got that same fucking long. Uh, they, look, they look horrible, bro. Anyways, hey, they're so, mad at you because you're successful. No, no, I'm mad at them. You know, that's, that's another yeah, podcast, go ahead, bro. Go to that. Uh, well, that's another podcast. Yeah. They've got two hours on that shit. They're yeah. fucking sneaky thieves. Anyways, um, so so I remember my sister. Right, remember how you say like I said they carry the same energy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Okay, my mom. I, by the time, by the time I was in high school, all right, she would leave. The older one, who's two years older than me, money. Oh, no, no. Yeah, yeah. No, no. This is what the bitch would do. She'd buy a steak, right? My mom. And then would tell the older one, cook for your brother and your sister. What does this bitch do? She had a boyfriend. 
And that motherfucker come over, and guess what the motherfucker ate? A big piece of steak, bro. Damn. That motherfucker would eat a steak. I remember she'd cook for him. Put, man, I just sitting there and watching this motherfucker. I want to stab him, bro. You know, like, motherfucker, that's my food, bitch. That's all we got. Have you seen the fridge? There's nothing in there, you motherfucker. You know? Side dick activities right yeah, there. Yeah, bro. So always that motherfucker would always eat steaks while this bitch would... Uh, wouldn't give a fuck if I ate or not. Now as an adult, bro, I look at it. I'm like, you chicken shit, fuck fucking you. animal. Yeah, you know. So yeah, that's that's that's, that's kind of greedy, dog. Like, greedy, bro, is not. This, it's it's. She's beyond greedy, bro. Yeah. It's, oh, it's, it's always the dude. También though. The no, guy he eating doesn't, the he doesn't know. He didn't know we were that yeah. poor, bro. You just yeah. said, look at the fridge. No, I said, look at it. I don't know. I don't think he ever went in there, bro. <laughs> he looked at the other <laughs> fridge. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro. No, you know what, bro? But karma's a bitch, and and I and I, I, you know, we all when we do bad shit, you know, you don't pick your family. You yeah. know, I think your family. We choose our family through friendships, through trials and tribulations. I, I had people, uh, Larry Omaha, bro, sa- saved me many times, bro. Literally, like, like when there was times, man, when my career would take a dive, bro, and all of a sudden, no, you know how it is, bro. No, no gigs Straight are coming up. in, and then sometimes you get a lot of gigs. Yeah, and sometimes on those, on those, on those downfalls, bro. I, 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 this is what I would have to tell uh, uh, Larry Omaha, Larry, I need to borrow five grand from you. Go, all right, come over, like that. It's like that, bro. Damn. And then give me five grand, bro. And, I, and then goes, when can you pay me? I said, I said, okay, boom, boom, boom. Give me May. May I'll give you, I'll give you the five grand, and I'll throw an X for five hundred. And he goes, you don't have to. I said, no, no, bro. Said, I'm gonna take care of you. Yeah. So he was always there. If anybody's family was him, and uh, we talked about Bud Friedman. I hate yeah. Bud Friedman. No, we just passed. Ahead. Yeah, Bud, Bud Peter Bud Friedman. Dog. Yeah, and, and uh, uh, he. When sta- did you meet him? 1992. Wow! Yeah. Wasn't even born born yet. Yet, bro. Huh? Wasn't even born, born yet, yet bro. Uh. <laughs> Thank you, Dick. <laughs> bro, y'all is that way of making me feel better. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, so uh, no, yeah, nineteen ninety three. How many years were you in a comedy? I, I, I was in, in it already like two or three years. Oh, wow. but he liked my work, man. He did a show called A and E's Evening at the Improv. Yeah, I heard. Yeah, of show. and that's where I first saw George, George Lopez. Yeah, yeah I saw. Him, I was, I was like, oh shit. So describe it. Like, what channel would it come it, out? It was on A and E. Remember A and and A and E? Yeah, of course. Ar- Arts and Entertainment, right? Yeah. Oh, that wow. was for. D- so did you, it was a natural. Did you have, to have cable? Uh, no, it was cable. Yeah, okay. it was cable, bro. And uh, anyways, man, he uh, he was good. He was, we were talking about people that are good to me. Yeah, I remember. And I think I was telling you. I was telling you before the show, bro. Um. You know, uh, you know, I was terrible with money, bro. I wasn't good. You know what you I mean? There's pain your heart. There's good. There's there's guys that are that are like uh, you know really good uh, with money. They know how to invest, diversify, yeah. save everything. I was like, you gave me a check, it was over, bro. You know what <laughs> I mean? Like, I mean, stay, <laughs> fuck, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I remember, uh, and, and Bud Friedman, who just passed away, bro. Uh, I think two days ago. And uh, right, good, P. good man. A lot of people, a lot of people d- didn't know. Did, you know, he, he started the improvs, right? Yeah, he started yeah. that. That he, he was he, a door he, guy, right? No, bro. He started the improvs. Started them. Oh, wow. and I created them. There's a special. There's a real famous special of his first improv was in New York, and Richard Pry- it was one of Richard Pryor's first specials, bro. Oh, Watch wow. it. Watch. Oh, his, yeah. I, it's a brick wall. It's, and yeah, it's like a menu on there. There's a menu in the back. Yeah. And he bombs. I know. And he bombs. And at the end of the set, he literally looks at the camera and, or looks at the people and apologizes to them. Says, hey, man, I'm sorry. You know, and he says it was supposed to be funny. And then he walks away. So this goes to show you it doesn't matter, you know, how good you are or how seasoned you are. You're going to have bad nights. Yeah. You know, it's just inevitable, bro. I don't care how good you are. I don't care what a badass comedian you are. You're still going to have bad nights, you know? So, Who's anyways, Adam? but, but yeah, yeah. But, but would, uh, 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 give me money during Christmas, bro. Cause not, cause I would ask him for loans, you know? Yeah. Cause like, let's say I wasn't working that December or, or that November and I it was, you know, I was tight with the bills and everything. And then I, and now my kid was little. I think Willie was only at the time like five. Or four, and Fabian was two. And I'd say, hey, hey, bud, I need a favor. And then he's like, what is it? I said, could you, uh, can you, uh, uh, you know, uh, give me three grand, and you can take it out of next month, mm-hmm. you know, because it's Christmas. Bro, not one time that that guy say no. 
So I went up there, picked them like, like you know, and then and then I was able to have Christmas with yeah. the, with the kids, man. How did you get past at the improv back then? Like, what was the process to get in at the improv? Did you have to send like a video, or did he see you? He saw me. It was it, it was his wife, Alex, bro. Actually, wow. Because I he would have a Bud had a table. By the way, bro. Again, man, I I, I got to give you your props, bro. You at the comedy store getting past, Gracias, you bro. know, gente. Dude, there's very, very few of us, you know. Gracias, brother. Gracias, brother. Gracias. And bro, it was like, I'm so proud, bro. Thank when I hang out with you, when hey, we go to the store, so, I'm like. Hey, did we have a good I time? Said, I said, hell yeah. Hey, did we have a good time, bro? a good time. Said, That's my- hey, December 15th, Willie Barsena, George Perez. We take over the motherfucking place. Come we'll hang out. The there. There's only like 100 tickets left. There's going to be 40 left after the show. It's going to be sold out <laughs> when you, if you guys are watching this. Yeah. Yeah, no, get man. your tickets now. Bro, so, so, no, so, bud. I remember I was walking out. I was I, I just did a five minute set. You know, like you asked for a spot, so they gave me a spot. Oh, you could and, just go in and ask back then. Uh, no, I had a manager who oh, okay. who knew who knew Dave Rath, who's oh, Sarah wow. Silverman's uh, oh, ma- shit. A manager today okay. up today. Yeah, so it was Dave was Dave is big time manager now. Um, he uh, at the time he used to be the door guy at okay. at the Improv at one time. Yeah. So he's the one that asked uh, a bud like, "Hey, I got this, I got this kid, you know, that yeah. kind of thing." And now, uh, you know, I was what I don't know, twenty four, bro, twenty five, and uh, and and so he gave me a spot. It wasn't he just gave me a spot. So I'm walking out and I see Alex, uh, 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 Bud's wife, and she's laughing and she grabbed me. She grabbed me. She goes, she goes, "You're hysterical." And then she grabbed Bud and she goes, "Bud, you better keep this kid like that." Wow. And then the next thing I knew, I was, I was in, man. I was what, in. What other Rasa was there at this time? Like who? Paul was Rodriguez there? was the only one, bro. Fuck. And George. Okay. There was the only two that I remember. You know, Paul was Paul, and George was, you know, yeah, headlining already. Okay. Uh, but and George it, was wearing cardigan. I heard he was yeah, wearing like uh, cardigan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, and then he never said anything. He never had not nothing. Chicano. No, not one Chicano joke, bro. Not one Chicano that, joke. I, yeah. And uh, you know, I, I I guess as comedians, what was he doing? Because to me, that's all I know him by. Yeah, I remember he had a joke where he says, "Oh, you know, you're single when someone comes over and all they see is uh, 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 with like uh, pizza, pizza, uh, Domino's pizza, uh, empty things." Or I don't know, I'm thinking the joke, bro. But he would do jokes like that. <laughs> yeah, you know, it yeah, wasn't yeah. Re- it wasn't like, "Hey, you know, you're Chicano if you have yeah. a lot of pizza and there's yeah, no." Because more. hey, Pablo wasn't really Chicano either. Pablo was like paisa. My view. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was, he was, bro. You know? Yeah, yeah. A Chicano wouldn't throw tortillas. We would throw, like, Cortezes. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, he, yeah, man. And, um, so, so he, so he passed me, bro. And here it is. Fuck, you got passed by the owner. Right? The owner, right? So, <laughs> so here's where I fuck up, bro, right? <laughs> so, it, it's like the most, his, you know, like the craziest thing that could happen is, is, is to get, you know, like that at the improv, man. And I remember I was, I felt like, I don't know if you felt like this when you, my, my generation was different. I think there was more Latinos when you were coming up. You, cause you were like, yeah. like, like Leno and Letterman say, they call it the class. Like you were the class behind me. Yes. You know yes. what I mean? You're, I you're like, you were the graduating class behind me. So when I was coming up, bro, and I used to go to the improv uh, on, on Melrose, bro, I used to feel, like a fish out of water, bro. I used to feel like I didn't belong there, man. You know, I Why? felt you, I felt you, so fucking. You feel so Mexican only because it's so white. Were you dressed different than everybody though? Like, no. like explain it, dog. No, it's just this. It's just this thing, man. Where everybody there, the, the all the comedians that were there at the time, they felt like they belong. You know, they're all like, hey, hi, hi. You know, all the guys from like a. Uh, uh, the spade there, uh, Drew Carey. Wow, uh, uh, all the all those ABC shows, all the, all those dudes. Were, um, what's, the, what's the other one? The other one. Oh, I don't did know, you ever man. do the improv of Randy Dangerfield? Was there? No, yeah, yeah, they were right. I saw. I used to see him, bro. He was, wow. Yeah, he was good. I, I'm not. I never went up to him or anything, but I used okay. to sit there in the back, and when he would go up, everybody would fucking admire the fuck out of him. Shot, hey, everybody would he just kill there. it. Yeah, like uh, Joey uh, Diaz style. Yeah, huh? bro, he would kill it, bro. And he was always some fine ass chick, bro. He always had a fine ass, super fucking fine ass chick, mm. bro. And you're like, 
And, and that's like, when you're funny. <laughs> hey, hey, I don't care. Look, comedians. No. If you want to impress other comedians, come with a fine ass chick. If you're an open micer, don't bring no ugly perra. Bring a fine ass chick and we'll book you, eh? <laughs> Hoping he brings her back. <laughs> <laughs> no, I remember, bro. And uh um I don't know, man. I, I was, uh, I was, I was, um, uh, um, they called me and they said, Willie, they gave you Saturday night, nine o'clock spot. And I was so happy, bro. How many minutes? Give me like 10 minutes. And, oh, shit. And then, uh, the guy, the guy bringing me up was very rude. Who and, was it? And, uh, fuck, I don't remember his name, okay. bro. And even if I did, I don't want to say it. I don't want, <laughs> I, I just want to move on from that. But, yeah. But, okay, I ended up getting kicked out, bro, my first night. First night? First night, because I headbutted the dude. Why? How did he bring you up? Because he said, hey, coming up to the stage is this guy. I never heard of him. That's how he brought me up. I never heard of him. Willie, I don't even know his last name. I hope he's funny. Like that. And then fucking the blood rushed through my fucking heart and my fucking brain. Yeah, because like, you already fell out of place. Yeah, I was like, yeah, I was already fell out of place. The audience is fucking 95% fucking white bro yeah like yeah, i remember it was white yeah, back then yeah. man. <laughs> and 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 so i'm like oh you motherfucker bro so i went up there and i did my set and i grabbed the mic right and he was just an arrogant motherfucker and uh and then i put my i was doing my set i wanted that to everybody people clapped right and then i waited for him as, <laughs> right and, and i and i asked him like hey bro I was a kid, bro. I was 24 years old. Yeah. And I'm like, bro, why, why did you bring me up like that? And he said, what? What? What did I do? What? Like, 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 like punk me. Punk yeah. me, yeah. yeah. Like, I shall go. And I said, so I said, bro, let me tell you something. And I got really close to him. And that's when I, I headbutted him, bust, busted, his, busted him up. Yeah? I'm, yeah, that's my go-to move, bro. You're the headbutt I, I was the headbutt guy, yeah. Wow, but yeah. you know what? With the headbutt, there's no marks on your hands. It's kind of smart. No, plus also this is the hardest bone in your body, bro, yeah. other than your knee. I didn't know uh, that. They have the top right here, bro. It's yeah. hard, hard. That's why soccer players always fucking mm-hmm. hit, the, hit the ball. And nothing. They don't hit it and get You got to hit it right, though. Yeah, like, you got to like, hit it right. right here. Yeah, yeah, if you yeah. hit it on the top, yeah, you're yeah, going to yeah, get a concussion. Yeah. Yeah, you no, no. And I, 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 I did it right now. I, I, I don't know, bro. And it's funny because I was never a fighter, bro, but I, used to, I saw that movement on TV so many times. I fucking, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I, 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 you what up, George? You've gotten a lot of fights. You've never done a move, anything like that? I don't do the head, bro. Nothing, no move. There's no George Press move. Uh-oh. No, for I'm telling you, like when I fight, I'm more like the, um, you know, a hey, dog. It's when you weird. used to fight, bro, no, you know. I'm still fighting. Ah, here. yeah, bro, no. retire, fucker. Homeless fools trying to fuck me up, dog. Bro, just fucking throw a fucking hot dog. Don't I, fucking chase the hot dog, man. Nah. What the fuck are you fighting homeless? Come on, dudes, they're bro, worth bro. a dollar, dog. Fucking, I don't know what it is. What, really, what but the like, film me fucking? What are you gonna create? Hey. Fucking bump, bump. Remember bump fights? All those are the best. <laughs> fucking. We're going to have a new one called fucking The Cholo and the Bums. Uh, <laughs> chum fights. <laughs> nah, um, this fucking, because I DJ at the strip club, okay. so I got to fight customers and shit that don't want to pay. Oh, oh, you mean they get a lap dance, right? Yeah, so like say you walked into the strip club. You know what? Okay. 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 Hey. I'm, I'm, I'm going to defend the bums, bro, here. This is what I don't like the strippers do, bro. I fu- it pisses me off. Okay. I don't like when they go, you want a lap dance, and you go, yeah, and they know you're fucked up, right? Uh-huh. And then you fucking, you're going, and they keep going, and then they're like, how much a lap dance, right? 50 bucks, I don't know how much it is, yeah. right? And then you're like, all right, fuck it. And you're a pedo, bro. This is what I don't like strippers do. That you're like, they're like, okay, thank you, sweetie. And then you go, thank you, baby. And they're like, that's 250. I'm like, what the fuck? And you go, yeah, we just did five songs. Oh, bitch, you should have told me, man. I didn't, like, sometimes the DJ fucking blends them in. You fucking never see the next one coming in. Yeah. That's a move they do, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But that's, that's, you know what I do? Just after every song I switch, I'm like, all right, guys, give it up right there for Destiny. Oh. And new song going down on that couch dance. New song going down. Oh. But like, hey, Willie. But sometimes they get tricky, right? They Willie, get tricky. Willie, that's it. They love you, Willie. They're like, oh, that's what's faded, bitch. Get them. Oh, okay, like, okay, like, okay. Yeah, and that, yeah. So strippers are kind of like high school kids. Hey, get them drunk and you can get shit from them. Okay. You know what I mean? Xavier, am I right or am I wrong? No, nah, that's completely right. They love when you're drunk. Yeah, uh, no and, one it's, that, and it's yeah. funny because George is like, it's full nude, so can't really get drunk. 
But people come and drop. Oh drugs. no! But some strippers yeah. they hide the fucking like uh, Jack Daniel a little a flask shot and little, no <laughs> little like what, shooters. Yeah, yeah, the little okay. And then the customers, what's up? Hey, for one, give me twenty bucks. I put that Jack and Coke. You can oh. drink Jack and we we'll yeah, go uh, back there and I'll jack yeah. you off. Oh just shit! Get coked <laughs> out. Yeah, yeah damn. They bro. got a bed over there at George's. Really? Yeah. Well, what are we at? <laughs> Thirty. No, okay, talk to Willie for I got to take a piss. <laughs> So, hey, by the way, I got a commercial time. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to be, we're going to be, me and George are going to be in Austin. Yeah, Ellipse, come here, bro. Help me out. Help me out. Talk, t- tell them where we're going to be. Tell them the shows. Yeah, use those lips. Come on, use those lips. Come on. <laughs> All right, it's going to be at the Vulcan uh, Gas Company, uh, November 18th and 19th. Uh, early show at 7, uh, late show at 10. Hey, can you get his lips on camera, bro? Oh, they're in there. <laughs> <laughs> Those are big ass lips, bro. I always tell this guy, don't ever go to jail, bro. He'll start, he'll start fights in there. Where can you get tickets? Where can you get tickets? Uh, WillieBarsena dot com. Then it will sell out, just like the ones at the comedy store. So get your tickets now. Yeah, yeah, and I heard for the comedy store, December fifteenth, there's only hundred left, hundred hundred left, and uh, then it holds four fifty. Yep. So That's man. Pa- Hey, George's people, man, you guys know George already. He's he's the real deal, man. He's a fucking guy that doesn't hold back. And uh I can't wait to meet his fans, you know, and 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 uh and say hi to you guys, man. And by the way, this is, you already know he's a funny motherfucker, man. He's funny as fuck. Man, we just had we just had uh 3 days, 3 days or 2 days. And ple- we had 3 days in Pleasanton, California at Tommy T's, bro. And the crowds are fucking badass, man. I mean, it didn't even feel like I was doing stand-up, man. I felt like I was just in my backyard talking shit. I got a question. You know how you have hear, like, that uh, Dave Chappelle and all of them, they've done, like, two hours, mm-hmm. three hours. Yeah. Have you ever done anything, like, a crazy amount? Or when I was young. There was no headliner, no feature? Because Sam said one time they booked him, mm-hmm. and they just booked him. They okay. were assuming he was going to bring a feature or yeah. opener. He did go and he had to do the hour and a half. And he's kind of there like, and they're looking at him like, well, this is, it, it, you know, people aren't prepared and shit. Mm-hmm. Have you ever done any, any crazy? When I was younger, when yeah. I was in my 30s, bro. And I'll tell you why. Because in my 30s, we, we, we all worked the same clubs, you know. And it was like, you would come in and you would hear, yeah, Carlos was here uh, last month. He did three hours, right? And then you would hear, George was here four Fuck. months ago, hey, right? Man. Go ahead. And they Sorry. would say, he, he did three and a half hours. So I, 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 those are always the two guys that were ahead of me, right? So I would always go, I was always competing, you know? And I know they weren't competing with me, you know? I was like, I was, I was not even at their level. They were ahead of me. But I would be at the club, and then the, 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 I would say, oh, fuck that, I'm going to do three hours. But I, I couldn't. Back then, bro, I didn't have the skills that they had, you know? I mean, that was funny, but I don't think I could I can capture them for three hours. because. And the reason I can tell you that is because when I was done with the three hours, there was only like 20 people left, you know? Yeah. They were all like, hey, uh, they were down as fuck, though, for that. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, they were down, but they, they were hardcore fans, but... Those dudes back there, man, back then, now, now I could do it. If I wanted to, I'm not trying to Straight fucking, up. I know I'm not can. trying to put a feather on my cap or anything, but I can do, but, but the truth is now I realize, man, you know, an hour, an hour and 10, hour and 15, it's, it's enough, bro. They, yeah. They've, they've had a good time, you know? Even if you can do two hours, you're like, why, why, why? You know, you know you're, you're going to, if you they know? pay 300 a ticket, I'll give you two hours. Okay. Yeah. Maybe. You're right. right. Maybe. What's maybe, the longest yeah. you've done? Hour ten, hour fifteen. Yeah, okay, it, it, it's just. Let's see, yeah, I, I don't like going beyond that, bro. I yeah. really don't. Even though I could, I, 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 I st- mean. <laughs> no, no, I stopped the shows, bro. I, I like yeah. this week. I, 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 I did this couple times. I just said, "Hey guys, trust me. I want to keep going." And then you can hear him like, "No, no." Where you're like, "No, no, no," because. Uh. Cause you know it's almost like you're, you're that the stripper and now they're the customer. Yeah, yeah, bro. <laughs> you're like, hey, yeah, bro, yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. Play songs. You know when you stay too long on stage, sometimes I don't care how much they love you, bro. And I, uh, Please, you know, they'll they'll say you'll hear even if they stay, bro. They'll say, oh, he was. I mean, I've heard it from comedians that I look up to. You know, I've heard fans tell me. I'm a big fan of this guy, and I'm like, oh, so am I. And like, yeah, but fucking three hours. I mean, by then, I mean, yeah, we stayed, but it wasn't the same. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's, it's, it's almost like it's like being that last guy at the bar. You know, where like <laughs> when you're the last guy, everybody gets kicked out, and you're like, 
they they they, they like you, but they really don't. They're like, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, you know. No, nah, it's like yeah, it's like being, it's like having coke dick full. She's like, damn, I like this one, but like. Coke on, dick. Pero. Yeah, What's coke, coke dick? dick? Is oh. when your dick's like hard but medium, so you can't nut and it stays in because it's a little hard. A little hard. Yeah, it's like it barely is. hard. It's, it's, it's not hard, hard enough. Like where she's like, hey, is hey, bro, stuff? is that true that you can put coke on your dick or is that a lie? No, that's true. That's true. What? Yeah. yeah. It makes so it, you, okay, it so let her mask. So if you, <laughs> what do you do? Did you put it like inside that little hole? <laughs> or on top? No, I don't know, bro. I don't fucking know, dude. <laughs> I don't know, bro. I'm not a, okay, you know, look, look, do you so put it like around the head? What do you do? Let me tell you, there's many ways you can do it. All right. Oh, oh, give, me, give me. I mean, okay. Look. So one time, the way this one chick did it is, she was like, "Hey, I'm gonna give you baggy coke dick." So it was resin all over the coke bag, and then she licked the bag, and then she licked my dick, and it was like, "Whoa." And then this other hyena. Okay, wait a minute. And what happened to your dick when she did that? It fucking. Uh, hey, you remember? You remember when Hawk Hogan would get hurt? Then he get up and he start shaking and shit. Yeah, and like it would. Your dick just gets up and it's just like it gets up. Fucking. It. So it's what like you it works like Viagra. Better, but it's no. It works like Viagra, but it's two cases. It's either like um, Lawrence Taylor. Yeah, or it's fucking lip dick. It's like kind of oh, hard, oh, but it's not hard. Oh, oh, it either revives it or kills it. No, it revives it or puts it in mediocre. Oh, okay, right. It just might, makes mine go numb. Oh, okay. like yeah. you can't feel nothing, which is good. Yeah, but I want oh, I want to feel something. Exactly. Bro. Sometimes I don't no, want to no. feel nothing. Nah, hey, Willie, Why don't hey. I just get a fucking dildo? Hey, <laughs> Willie, the best the best thing some paisa did to me, dog. Whoa, what do you do? Were you okay? A paisa chick, right? A paisa chick. <laughs> oh, you say paisa chick. <laughs> nah, so, because, <laughs> hey, so I'm, I'm, I'm circumcised, dog. So look, she pulled the skin down, dog, and then she put cocaine around all the cuero at the end. Uh, and she the... did half of it, and then she licked it, and like, damn. Damn. yeah, hey, yeah, hey, hey. You know what's a trip is when you're born a paisa, they're fucking different, like, like. I bone the they get on. mad. They get mad. No, Paisa chicks get mad if you don't bone them right, bro. No, but this, I was boning the right for like she was telling me. She See, I wasn't. That's why they got <laughs> mad at me, bro. She was like, I, like I never heard dame la, dame la leche. Oh, dame la leche. Yeah. Oh, she said that like come right. Yeah. Oh shit. She, 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 and then she's like el cuerito. Like she was like, "Quieres que te lambie el cuerito?" And I was like, "What the lick, fuck? lick your butthole, right?" No, lick the skin oh. of your dick. <laughs> okay, cuerito. That's just me. That's just me bro. Okay, I heard. No, like, okay, in my head, I heard culito. Like, no. me voy a venir, <laughs> huh? Me voy a venir. Do you know what that, that means? I'm coming. Have a need, I'm coming. Yeah. Yeah, you've never no, heard that one? Oh, you're not doing it right then. No, I just, <laughs> Trust me, I'm doing it more than right. <laughs> no, like, it would be different shit. be like, enséñame que manda aquí. Oh, what? Yeah. Hey, uh, Willie. Nah, bro, that shit would have got me scared. I wish it was in my dick. That would have my, my dick would have folded. Fuck it. My dick would have just said, nah. I mean, okay, but, my dick would have said, Ten, tengo miedo. My dick would have like, got scared, bro. Like, okay, let's go home, man. Nah, it's it's because uh, being in the strip club business, like, I remember, like, fucking seven or eight years ago, there was, like, a big, like, I don't know who did it, dog, but uh, you remember the movie, um, fucking, oh, my God, I'm so mad at oh, myself right now. Mel Gibson's in it, and it's an old-ass movie. Okay. It's about when people run out of gas. It's like the end of time. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I know. It's Road, uh, Mad Max. Mad Max, yeah. But well, what is it called, Mad Max? It's called Mad Max. <laughs> no, but like, <laughs> it, 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 am I saying it right? The Mad one that, Max so, Beyond Thunderdome. The one, yeah, the one that Tom Harding's in. This one, right? Max yeah. Th- yeah. Yeah. Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome. What the fuck was I saying? Right Tina Turner. <laughs> Yeah, I'm fucked up. Dude. You don't. You're not a tequila guy like me, huh? I am, but I'm not. Are, are Give you? me another shot, Willie. I'm. Are I'm you fucking, sure? Bro? I'm impress you, dog. No, nah, bro. Don't be. Hey, if you're I'm not a tequila, if you're not. A I know my good... lips are little, <laughs> but I can handle. All bro. right, bro. Yeah. No, man. I'm fucking. Hey, homie. Hey, hey dog. No homo. It's always an honor hanging out with you, dog. Like, you know what likewise, I like? Likewise, bro. Like, like, like look. This is my second time, right? Yeah. This is my second time, bro. Like, hey, like, no homo, but, like, you're 
you're like Jordan, and I feel like Kobe. I like, no, I, I feel no. like I want to call you at three in the morning. Like, hey, Willie, I did this joke like this. Like, tell me how. What? Tell me how. So I shouldn't no, have done it, bro. I I saw you. Listen, man. And I like. I'm, uh, cheers, bro. Salud. And then X, we were there, man. I was. We were, we were at the comedy store. Uh, I think a, a a month ago, and I hadn't seen you in a long time, bro. And uh, and I saw you at the comedy store in the main room, man. And I, I was just like, I was just like, I was blown away, bro, by seeing really? how much you've grown. Oh, thank yeah, you, brother. bro. Like I was like, we we're all sitting back there, like like a fan, bro. I was like, oh shit, because I heard, I hadn't heard any of those jokes, any of them. Because the uh, last time I saw you, uh, you and me, uh, it was a restaurant. They did comedy. I, no, no. The last time we did comedy, dog, was on Cinco de Mayo in Riverside. It was me, you, Gilbert Escobar. Okay. Yeah, but I remember. And was, we were doing commercial plays in fucking Ventura on Rico and Mumbo. Rico and Mumbo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but, bro, you... You're just not the same guy, bro. Oh, you just, thank you, brother. Your 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 your, your delivery, you do, <laughs> your uh, your jokes, bro. It's just uh, I was, you had me laughing out loud, and I had a friend with me. Oh sure. Oh no, I didn't have a friend with me. That's no, I'm, I'm lying. I told her your jokes. That's oh, what happened. Yeah. That's what happened. I told her your jokes. She was cracking up. Oh fuck, that's yeah, just yeah, yeah. No, it's yeah, always we saw you at the main room. Huh? It was yeah. the day you did the main room. In the main room, bro. You yeah. closed. You closed out the show. Yeah. You closed. Oh, yeah. You closed it out, bro. Shit, homie. Hey, you know what's crazy? Dude, out there in the fucking... That's the, that's like uh, sacred ground, bro. I that know. stage, you know, that stage... All you can think of is Richard Pryor, George Carlin. Kennison. Fun, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's you the know, Kennison K- spot. Kennison. Yeah, all the greats, bro. Yeah. Letterman, Leno. All there. They're yeah, all there. every fucking... But Chappelle. Uh, Chappelle. I yeah. mean, I'm not to their level ever. No, bro, stop. Stop. Don't say that shit, bro. No, right Don't now. Don't say that shit. Right now. No, no, la verga. No, right. you, you, no, you are, bro. You are at that level. You just, you just, what you're, what you're saying it's is a different matrix. No, no, no. What you're saying is, I don't. You don't have as much material as they did because they were around a lot longer. Yeah. But your material, bro, you you can put a toe to toe with anybody. Oh, you know what I mean? Dog. So and and I be, and you hear and, that? And, and you better fucking treat me better, dog. <laughs> Hey, bro, words are powerful, you know, and that's why, you know, and, and the, it, for me, bro, there was a lot of reading, you know, and and it's what we say, we manifest. So I don't, that's why I don't want you to say things like, I'm not oh, at that level. Right. No, la verga, you are at that level. And, and, and yeah, and fuck it, bro. You know, this thing about our people, man, we're always, we're, we're, we're always saying, uh, excuse me, and we're the most, I think the Mexican American culture, the Latino culture is very, uh, 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 it's too nice, bro. You know, I would and, say and, the and Mexican, the Mexican, Mexican culture, Mexican American culture. And I tell you what, the one regret I have, bro, the one regret I have with it's raising, being nice? no, no, with raising my sons, <laughs> no, no, raising my sons. Oh. Cause I raised them to be like, hey, say excuse me, say thank you. Don't be no, that's like, awesome, like, Willie. no, no, no. Listen, brother. <clears throat> in sports, if they hit a home run, I said, don't fucking, don't, don't pimp, celebrate. don't pimp, don't pimp the home run. Oh, you know, yeah. like don't act cool. Just fucking run around everything. When they used to box and stuff like that, fucking don't act, don't get all wild when you win. You fucking go up to that kid and you shake his hand and you look for his dad and you shake his hand. Dad, you're like I, Bobby I, Knight, dad. I never let them. Express themselves, bro. Yeah, and it's in the Mexican culture. You're in Mexican, bro. Julio Cesar Chavez, bro. When he would fight, you're right, bro. There's a difference because Mexican boxers are different than Puerto Rican boxers. Yes, because 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 I think Macho Camacho is, is kind of like the Puerto Rican uh, a style, you know, where they would yeah, like Jorge like brag. Macho Camacho, you know, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah when, it's it's like Tijuana, it's, right? Hector, no, Hector was from Puerto Rico. Who? No, Jorge Macho Com- Payaso, right? El Payaso, no. yeah, remember Maromero that? Maromero Payas, El, El, El Maromero Payas, El Maromero Payas. Yeah. He used to go like he used to like no, no, yeah. no, no, but he was a clown. He's a clown. Yeah, yeah. he was a circus clown. Did you know that? No, he yeah, was he was he was a circus clown. Never, and then and then Jorge Maromero Payas, yeah, yeah, was was a circus clown. And what everything he was doing on st- on on when he was boxing was from his circus from his clown days, but that's not really. I mean, that's an exception to the rule, bro. Most boxers are like, 
are like fuck, like like Chavez, like like uh, Barrera, like Marquez, yeah, uh, like De La Hoya. Yeah. Like we win and we're just like this. Right? We're like, no, thank oh, you very man. much. I just want to thank everybody for the opportunity. Yeah, we're never it. like, that's right. Everybody suck it. Yeah, you know. <laughs> and, but bro, there's a there's something in there that you need. You need to have the fucking. You know, like basketball players do, they dunk and they grab their nuts Floss. and they're like, "Here, yeah, a little yeah. bit, a little bit of that is all right." And I didn't let my sons do that. And if I could go back in time, bro, I would have put a little bit of, of of humbleness and a little bit of all right. You can fucking brag a little bit. You know what I mean? Because you can feel a little good. Like, about I'm yourself. not saying he does it right, but Conor McGregor, you need yeah. you need that bragging to get to yeah. get yeah. noticed. He, he was, like, you, yeah. You're right. You're right, yeah. bro. You're absolutely. But, well, but, we're all uh, different, unless though, you're like, great, unless wait, you're great. Like, look, we're all different. Like, uh, I remember I played sports. I would never brag about a touchdown. Remember, remember okay, you don't, you got to know this is before you were born. This is before uh-huh. you were born, bro. The first time I ever seen somebody, uh, like back in those days, would be the wide receivers, you know, like you know, stalwarts, you know, from the from some, from, uh, from the Steelers. <laughs> they were, they were, the they were, they were, bro, I was a kid, bro. No, bro, bro, bro. <laughs> but they would dance and they would do their legs. They would do dances. And you had never seen that ever. Hold on, like to, they, they would dance. Us. They would put their legs and knees together and do this fucking like, oh, dance. Yeah, yeah. Like that, yeah, yeah. And bro, and when was the first time you ever see that shit, right? And uh, so <laughs> celebrating on TV first yeah, time, yeah, bro. I, you never seen that before, you know. Now yeah. white people are like, touch that. Here you go, yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. They but run back to but the you level. need you need you need that now, bro. You know, you, you need to have a little bit of swag. And I I I took that away from my sons, and and, and that's one of my regrets, bro. Because because I was such a dick, fucking asshole dad. That if they would brag or do something stupid on the way home, bro, I would just be yelling at them, going, fuck you doing? Next time you hit a home run, just fucking run around. Shut the fuck up. You're like, and they hit a home run, bro. And they hit a home run. (laughs) They should be happy. They should be happy. I know. I fucked up their joy. (laughs) (laughs) He's like, hey, did you just Let me drink, dick. Let me drink. I don't even want to talk, bro. Play some fucking chente. Fuck, bro. Did you just score the winning touchdown and put your hand in the air? (laughs) Do 50 push-ups when we get home. That's some fucked up shit, Willie. <laughs> hey, Willie, hey. That's Willy, a, that's hey, a raza, bro. Hey, but I, you, I, you know what I like? The next generation, bro, they're going to be cabrones, bro. Oh, yeah. Oh, that yeah. next generation of uh, 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 Mexican-Americans. We haven't protested yet like the We haven't protested, bro. We, oh, bro. Right, so we protest. That next wave of, uh, that's behind us, bro, of Mexican-American kids. Yeah. Hey, but can I tell you why eee. the new generation is going to be the strongest generation? It's because they're going to protest, and then their tias and tios are going to clean up after so it don't look bad to the country. That's right, right, bro. We're going to kill two hey, birds with one stone. Yeah, hey, they burned 20 buildings, <laughs> but they repaired them. The hey, well, day. when they did that, that, that immigrant march in L.A., do you remember when they did that huge one? Yeah, yeah, that was huge. They cleaned up after themselves. Yeah. Like they, It was really well done where well, it was like, hey. It's just we live there, eh? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, bro. But, you know. Hey, you know what's crazy is uh, I went to my uh, – you didn't before, go to that be, march. No, no. Listen, before I was a comedian, I was a cement mason. Oh, what? A, I, I, I can lay curb gutter, anything with concrete. I can form set, do all that shit, really. Oh, that's fucking badass, bro. Yeah, I, have, no, I have respect for that because it's art, up. bro. I it's can. fucking art yeah, to I do can. that shit. Cause, hey, yeah. bro, I still can. Like, I talk to my homies that still work there, and they're like, hey, for what are you doing Sunday? I'm like, <laughs> let me go to work with you fools, dog. Just because, like, we're the original bullshit. You know how, it, like, I bullshit with these fools. They're my boys. And, uh, fuck. I'm fucked up again. No, so you were laying you're cement, bro. You, yeah. And, and, and they, they invite, they, they, uh, your homies called you up, yeah. man. And I, and I couldn't believe that you still do that, bro. That then, you know but, how to what, do that shit. But what were we talking about before that? Fuck, man. Lips. What were we talking about? The new generation of, uh, the new generation of Mexicans. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm fucked. I'm not, right, man. Willie, you keep, give me another <laughs> shot. I want to forget no, again. No, fucker. You don't, you're not even forget. this. But this not, you're not this much of a tequila drinker. No, I, like, I'm but but look, he's not her ex. He's not this much of a tequila okay, drinker. Look, ex. I is am, he, but am I doing coke? Not? I'm not doing coke he's no more. Yeah, we've been good with that. So. I'm yeah, not I doing know, coke but coke, no coke, because. Look, Willie, I'm not going to mention the comedian. never coke, right? No, no, I did it once. Willie, if I do coke right now. I, I'll beat you as you I, can. I, I know, I know, I know, bro, because there it's, was a comedian. I'm not going to mention any names because of fucking, you know. Give me a shot. No, I, got, I got you, I got you, bro. Um, hey, get him some ice, bro, for what? I'm the only comedian that refills Willie's drink. Everybody <laughs> else is all scared. 
So I gotta oh, ask right. you. I'm pretty sure you get a lot of shots thrown your way during your show. Oh, Do you deny know. them? No. I know because hey, he. Fool, when I was George in Bellflower, was like, oh. hey, I was in Bellflower, and the owner brought this fool like a thousand dollar bottle. I was like, oh shit, we're gonna be here for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that that, that hey, was that was fun too, homie. Uh, Gracias, uh, bro. You 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 you, okay, you, that you, shit you, out. you 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 no, but I I, I did, but I, I I you know um thank you for bringing the fucking noise bro because oh, you it was fucking you, you, fun though. yeah you fucking really woke them up bro and you got it you know you. what i mean you, you, and um no that was a great night bro and then that's when mel garcia met you <laughs> yeah hey mel's feed man yeah mel, mel met you and he called me and he goes because he looked at you bro okay when he first walked in first saw you he walked away and he didn't know anything about you, bro. I love it. He was like, "Who's this cholo?" Right? He was like, <laughs> <laughs> right? He was like that. I go, ah, bro. I go, he's funny, dog. Wait till you see him work. And then you, uh, and then because uh, he thought you were just gonna be, you know, like, cornball, uh, 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 you know, like corny, corny, hotel, corny, like corny, corny cholo, jokes. corny, corny cholo jokes, right? Uh. So then when he saw you, we were both uh, in the green room, and there's a speaker in there, and, and he was laughing out loud. And I said, "I told you, Dick." You know, uh, like uh, the dude's funny, you know. So, uh, uh, salud, my boy. What are we doing here? Uh, Xavier, where the. Hey, hold on, no, no, no. Xavier, get this for sh- You're taking a shot, dog. Who? I'll take one. Yeah. yeah take one. Take yeah, one, I'll take bro. one. Yeah. But I was going to ask, so how often do you deny shots? Do you take No, them? no, here it is. Like, how does hey. that. How does, what's the rundown? <laughs> um. Bro, get him a shot, bro. Why you couldn't nah. get him a shot? No, yeah, no. Nah, nah. He, he, oh, we're going to get a shot glass. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's our fault, eh? Bad production. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, well, I got you. I got yeah, you. Yeah, no, I but lips you. looked at us like, where are they at? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, okay, bro. To answer your question, bro. Answer. I, no, hold on. Ask it again because the camera's on me. Oh, uh, do you uh, put the camera on you? There you go. Why? Why am I producing? But go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just asking you. Uh, you take a lot of shots. You're in tequila. Do you, I mean, how often do you get shots taken? Because George, uh, he'll take half of them. After a while, he'll be like, yeah, cortenle. With yeah. the shots on stage, do you just take them? No, or no? I Willie's talk, no. fucking full gangster. No, 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 no. Those days are over, bro. Those days are over. Yeah. They're gonna, yeah, be careful. I heard they used to carry oh, you. Oh, at no, 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 I fell asleep on stage once, bro. That's how bad it got. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I was in El Paso, Texas, and I, had, I probably <laughs> drank like fucking 15 shots, and uh. I fell asleep sitting down. And when I woke up, people were leaving, and I had that mic in my hand. It was embarrassing, bro. You know, uh, but 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 you know, to my defense, I, I was I still so I, I much. Was, I was <laughs> I was thirty, I was thirty thirty one years old. Wow! And I apologized to the owner. I kissed his ass. Was that Bart Reed? Bart Reed. I kissed yeah. his ass because he could have fired me, man. I and he says, Willie, the only reason I'm not firing you is because you sold so much fucking alcohol. He goes, <laughs> and he goes, if it wasn't for that, I go, you'd be you you'd be getting the fuck out of here. And I said, I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry. And the next day, bro, I, I didn't have one drink on stage, nothing. I hey. put on a suit for him. I had a suit wow. that I was going to wear, and I wore it that day. I was it was a core day. No, bro. I was fucking, hey, yeah, bro. You went to core? No, I, did. I went with a suit. He, he remembers that night. Post, hey, cheers, salute. Cheers, Let's bro. break that shit. Cheers, bro. Cheers, cheers. Ah. Hey, I see you tap it. I see you. I did it because you did it, bro. But it's a comedy ta- store thing. It's a comedy store thing. Yeah, right I'm, next. You know what? George does it. There. I, 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 I never, uh, I never seen that until I went to Texas. Because you guys do it, right, Lips? You guys always take a shot and you go like this. And every time I'm in Texas, it, I forget that they do that. That they, they get, they, they, they go like, okay, they toast and then they go like this. And at the comedy store, I like when I first showed up there, Brian Redman. My boy, shout out to Brian Redman. And uh, we'd always just take shots, and he'd be like, boom, boom. And I was like, but what does it mean? There's a meaning behind this shit. It just means, like, it's from here. What do you mean from here? Where we're at. Like, hey, cheers to the table that holds it before it gets poured in. Look that up, bro. The that one I've, no, I've, that's Choloism. Oh. <laughs> no, the that, one I've heard is that adentro, pa adentro. There's this one that makes well, that sounds that so like the hotel channel. That's what it is. I guarantee you. <laughs> adentro pa dentro. <laughs> Why? Someone's huh? Fifty-five. Yeah, let's take lies. a break. Right, let's take a break. Yeah, let's so, take a break. 
And we back like a hood rat in a Cadillac <laughs> with the Sizzag. George Press Stories is also brought to you by Taco Naso. Look, all I got to say is Taco Naso. They got the best tacos of everything in the game. Follow them on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Taco Naso. X. I Bro, are they are they still there was a taco naso when I was growing up in, in like Pico Rivera. Yes. That's the same ones? Yes. The best oh. fish tacos, shrimp tacos, Bro, I ain't saying that, bro, you know I ain't gonna bullshit. And you know me real well, bro. But w- w- the, the, back in the, my fucking party days, bro, and I'm talking about the early '90s, late late '80s. There was a taco naso, uh, right off the freeway, off of Garvey or something uh, in La Puente. Or no, no, La Puente. It was, a, it was, it was, it was a, it was like a industry. I believe it was Pico Rivera, man. But but uh that area but it was the same it was they're called taco naso and they're known for the fish shrimp tacos no, so. oh for sure bro yeah, yeah, yeah. That was so it. it was the same family yeah. i knew i knew the daughter she was a sweetheart she was a nice lady you know she used to party you know at the the quiet canyon and all the, oh, all the wow. clubs so if it's the same lady hello you know nice <laughs> cheers uh were were you partying before you were a comic Bro, I'm going to tell you something about comedians and me and the difference. <laughs> a lot of comedians, bro, the reason, and you know this, bro, because you've gotten to know comedians now. They're, a lot of them are quirky motherfuckers. They're quirky people. They're not like with the, <laughs> a lot of them can't sit down, bro, and have a drink and have a beer and shoot this shit like me and no, you. No, no. And let me tell you why, bro. This, this is this is only me, bro. This, this is... This is my hypothesis, right? My educated hey, Jack, guess. You don't know what that means. <laughs> hypothesis. He was like, the word of the day. No, no, no. This is, this is this is my educated guess on this, bro. The reason a lot of these fuckers are so weird, bro, and we know a lot of them, is because like you before you became a comedian, you were you you already, you already had chicks. Hell you, yeah, yeah, gang of bitches. You were already cool. You were already cool before you had comedy. Yeah. So what happens in comedy? Listen you you could be the guy. nerdiest fucker in the world. The nerdiest. Like, look, bro, if you see Sam Kinison at a nightclub, <laughs> chicks aren't going to go like, oh, I want to suck Hell his dick. No. no, no. The reason he got great pussy was because he was a great comedian. Not because he was a good looking motherfucker. Not because he was smooth. Not everything. So a lot of these guys, they taste fame. And they're nerdy. I mean, listen, George Lopez, there's not, there's something, I'm not saying something he didn't say about himself. He said that, he said this about himself. He says, I had to be funny. Look at my face. Okay. I didn't have to be funny, bro. Nah, I was a good, I was in YouTube, bro. I was, uh, I was a good looking motherfucker way when, when I was a youngster you know now you know you age you age a la verga, you know <laughs> now I need to be funny you know I now, now I need to be funny yeah. no but no, when but I first I didn't want to be funny I just wanted to be funnier no, than no, you no 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 bro but but check this out when we were youngsters bro I got I got chicks you know I got pussy I used to be I was that disco dude with the cool car with the cool Volkswagen yeah. cruise I could dance like a motherfucker yeah. I, I used to win dance contests so I had bitches on top of bitches before comedy. I didn't I get comedy you. to get bitches. Uh, or, or, I'm sorry, to meet ladies. Uh, <laughs> I, um, you know, I just, you know, when hey, I... Isn't I mean, it a trip how you were like, nah, don't think I'm cute. Was that funny? No, yeah, 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 yeah. It was, yeah, exactly. Like, you too, bro. You you had game before. So what happened to a lot of these guys, a lot of these comedians, white, black, brown. Everything. Okay, so they get funnier, right? They get funnier. And now people like them. And they act weird. They act fucking weird, bro. But they're they're like, why are you acting so weird, bro? And they're acting weird because chicks like them. The reason guys like you and, and, and me, bro, are fucking grounded, because we had pussy before comedy. Yeah. It isn't like comedy gave us pussy. No, we we had it's game. It's going to help us. We're, like, we're, we're never going to get the Mike Tyson case. We're never going to get none of that. It's a blessing. No, no, bro. You know? We... we, we, we we had we had game before this fucking game. Yeah, but and, and, and then like, we, hey, can I tell you though? Yeah, you know it's 
dope as fuck when you're like, you got game and you have a bomb ass set and you're like, I get to choose. It helps. <laughs> it helps. Right? Where other fools are like, which one? Which one? Which one was laughing? Because a fool, there is like, there's comedians I used to work with who'd be like, they would have fools just be like, hey, whatever girl laughs at me hard, tell her to come hang out with us after the show. And I'm like, what the fuck? Bro, I'm going to tell you a story, bro. <laughs> Please. I'm going story, bro. Okay, so Jeff Garcia, uh, who, uh, the devil, <laughs> he was. Uh, he, I think I already told you that story. I think I told you're the, the story one that on brought him up. Yeah, he, no, he, that's he was, what everybody says. You he was him no, up. no. He was a runaway. He was a runaway. I didn't know that. Damn, I was, uh, you uh, had a runaway. Your pet Willie? No, he was a runaway, bro. I was doing a show and um, <laughs> fuck, I forget the name of the club, man. And um, it so must have um, run so, away so, in your mind. No, so someone, someone, um, like the the owner name was Rudy, and it's called Rudy's now in East LA. It's, it's so, oh. so, so, uh, it was called tequilas or something, tortillas. I don't know what the fuck. That's in El Monte, tortillas. No, no, no. It's in East LA. It's okay. in East, East LA, right off Atlantic. Make a ride off, at, uh, off the Damn, corner bro, freeway. You get some hood ass yeah, 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 bro. You get shot if you did shit wrong. <laughs> um, that's why I saved Brian Holtzman's life. They were going to kill him there. Yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, they really I know. Were. I see that. It was on a clip. He told me about it. Yeah. Brian Holson told me. He was like, George. You know yeah. how he's always excited? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's always, yeah. He's like, George, you know Willie Barcena? He saved my life once. They were going to kill him, bro. They were, were going to really, kill me, bro. He this guy was serious. This guy showed, this guy was, you know how hey, you feel he's going to be in Austin, you know uh, that, right? I, I love him, bro. Hey, he's going to be in Austin over I'm, there. Yeah, I, I, shit. We should get him on, dog. Oh, uh, he should be on. Brian Holtzman. Right? Yeah, you should be on the fucking Come show. Come down. We, uh, dude, I'll, 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 I'll give honored. him five minutes. I'll be honored. I'll be honored. Um, but wait up, wait up. Why was he going to get shot? <laughs> like, what <laughs> did it, can, 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 yeah, can I hear this? Okay, why was he going to get shot, bro? Because, you can't remember, bro. This is like 1994, probably 93. Spooners? I heard there were spooners. No, it was, it was, it was 93 or 94. It wasn't 95. I was um, a junior in high school. And he's, uh, and he's on stage. And you got to remember, bro, this is East Los, you know? It was back in those days. And like so American I, I, bring him, I, 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 I bring him up, and he's like, <laughs> hey, what's going on, wetbacks? You know? And like, <laughs> no hey, laughs. Uh, real wetbacks. Yeah, no, 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 no. They're cholos, bro. They're from the hood. Oh, shit. Like, no, no, no. They weren't wetbacks, bro. They were, they were, they were like, dude, from the hood. They're like, my mom's a wetback. That's, like, that's I'm hood. Not. No, they're, they're like hood. a George? No, they were hood. They were they were George, bro. They, they were George. George. There were a couple were George. Georges out there. Yeah, yeah they were like George weird. out there. As a matter of fact, there's a comedian there, a comedian who remembers the whole, his name's uh Gilbert Esquivel. Gilbert, yeah. Gilbert Gilbert, Gilbert Gilbert fucking saw when the guy pulled up his shirt to show me his cuete, you know? Show wow. me his gun. Yeah. Like he pulled up his shirt and went like that to me when I was on stage and trying to apologize for Brian. That's why I knew like, <laughs> oh, this motherfucker's got you know, like, 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 I don't want, like, I don't want to die. I don't want this fucker to die. So I apologize for Brian. Say, hey, he's a crazy fucker. You know, you try to like back up your homie, crazy motherfucker. You know, <laughs> hey, you know? that's a wrong move. Up. You know, I was like, why? What are you mad? Fuck you. Does this fool know his life's in danger at all yet? He doesn't know. He's oblivious. No, he thinks it's an art, he's, right? Yeah, yeah. He's totally oblivious, bro. <laughs> he doesn't fucking know what's he's going like, on. I did great. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So he doesn't know. I see them. I see that dude get up. I, I see him whisper to his homies, and they're talking. And then the, I got scared. I got scared because I thought it's real now. Well, I'm his friend, mm -hmm. so they might shoot both of us. So, yeah. so as a matter of fact, some dude hit me up on. I, I put up this thing on uh, social media. I seen the video, dog. And, and, but but some vato put up there and he goes, "You sh you both should have been dealt with like that." I'm like, "Fuck, dude." The Damn. fuck, he you know, like, up, like what, twenty yeah, years some later? Homie, yeah, some homie, <laughs> no, some fucking hardcore motherfucker put you. Sh you, sh you, sh you both should have been dealt with. I'm like, what the fuck, dude? I'm just trying to tell jokes. I'm trying to save yeah. this motherfucker's life. So, I'm pushing now. Now I'm pushing. Uh, I'm pushing him out the club, bro. You know, Brian pushing him. And he's trying to talk, and he goes, "I'm gonna go talk to them and say everything's cool." And like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, no, motherfucker, that's not how it works here. Yeah, that's not how it works. You know, that's not how Rasa works, bro. 
And fuck, it's only going to get worse. So I literally, I get him in the car and I beg him, get, start your car and get the fuck out of here. And then they were coming. Get this car. Like hard, dog? Yeah, he bones out. And I sat there, bro. You know, Rasa, bro, I don't give a fuck what anybody says about hardcore Rasa, man. If, if you can if you can explain to Rasa what went down, yeah, they're going to listen. And so I explained, look, man, guy does know nothing about East L.A. He doesn't know how, you know, shit works down yeah, here. Work. Yeah. I said, I apologize, you know. And I said, you know, and then I bought him drinks, bro. And that's it. And I bought him drinks. We all drank shots. We drank beers and, you know, but he always remembered that day. I know he told me about yeah. it. Yeah, by, by the way, Brian Holtzman, man, I love, bro. Straight up, I he's love, an OG. I, I, I love huh? you, you crazy, mother- you crazy ass motherfucker. Hey, he's an OG, huh? Mm-hmm. Dog, he goes up late at night at the comedy store and kills he, hey, he's, like late, late. He lives in Austin and he lives in Hollywood. He he goes back and forth. Okay, he might be there, Willie. Oh, that would be beautiful. I'll, I'll tell that story on stage. Yeah, hey, with hey, him there. Holds, hey, I'm gonna get him to a show. Is that cool? If I get him to a show, I'll fly him there. How's no, that? he lives out there. Oh, okay. He lives out there. Last time I was out there, I kicked it with that fool. Yeah, he's he's fucking nuts, bro. He's I, I never had anybody have those balls. He's got fucking metal balls, bro. Eee. Who else has metal balls? That like so like let so Willie, you're a comedian, but you're like one year in. Mm-hmm. Who else? Are you seeing go up or you were like, fuck, this fool's fire? Besides Eddie, Holtzman. Eddie Griffin. Yeah? When I was a young comic. Eddie Griffin yeah, and, da- and, and Damon Wenz. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Damon Wenz. Damon Wenz and Jay Leno gave me my work ethic. Jay Leno told me how to do it. And then I saw uh, Damon do it. Damon, and all respect, man, to your sons and. And, and what you've and done, and everything. Familia. Nothing but respect for Damon. But if Damon would have stopped acting and would have kept with his stand up, I believe he would have reached he would have reached uh, a, a richer prior status. And I'm gonna tell you why, bro. Because I used to watch a lot of people like thinking like Damon wins. Yeah, no. Look at his first special when he drops the mic and he says, "I ain't selling out." Last words out of his mouth, he says, I ain't selling out. And he drops it. Um, I used to see him on Mondays on my open mic night. Um, on the open mic nights, he would just jump in, bro, and do these jokes, and they would suck nuts. They were horrible. The, I would see, I would literally see the joke suck balls, bro. And, and I'm, I was like, you know, I was like fucking, I was, I'm a comedian that wants to be part of the scene. So I would be at the comedy store, even if I wasn't going up, you know? Yeah. So and then I would see Damon do that same joke on Tuesday. I soon do the same joke on Wednesday, Thursday. Bro, by Saturday, it was so refined. It was a fucking bit, bro. It was a killer bit. Wow. And that's where I said, he influenced me. Yeah, you're like yeah. you gotta work it out. I was like, wow, look at he's he's willing to suck a dick on Monday to be a rock star on Saturday. Yee, that's a t-shirt, fool. <laughs> <laughs> well, you would you would, you wouldn't wear that t-shirt. Nah, but some fools would. <laughs> that's like a bump. No, bro, that's real shit, bro. That's I'm <laughs> telling you. I was a baby comedian. I think I was only like 23, 24 years, twenty two years old, probably. I was just amazed by watching how he was willing to put his ego aside and um and take the the ass take whooping. Take the L. Take the ass whooping, yeah. Yeah. I've yeah, done bro. it a couple of times, eh? I it's hard. Yeah, I you know you know what it is, is I work at a strip club, Willie, and like if stripper was a comedy, I got a real if my jokes were a pussy, they're real tight and clean, eh? Like why is that? Why why so? Because it's just like um, some motherfuckers ain't willing to show that dirty, hairy, bush bitch that you had to work on to make tight, pretty, and clean. Okay. I'm always like, I'll shave it again tomorrow. <laughs> so are you, are you willing to um, yeah, to, to do expose new material, bro, yes. and put your ego aside? Yeah. And, and then go seen me. And you go home with your tail between your ass, bro, yeah. which is and fucking... seen me. It's sad as fuck, bro. 
people. Okay. I don't know if you guys know, but I'm going to share this with you guys. I'm going to share comedy with you guys. Please. When comedians try a new joke and it sucks, yes, you know it sucks. And you let us you let us know it sucks. If a comedian drinks, he does coke, <laughs> smokes weed, he's going to do all that shit that night because it's painful to be rejected. You know, and think about a comedian that you see that is successful. He was willing, willing to fucking get smacked around um, psychologically by you guys and come back the next day because <laughs> yeah, <it's> like, <laughs> he knows my cat just gave me the light. <laughs> Anyways, man, nah. that's it. I don't want to get fucking. <laughs> no, that was real, dog. That's it, bro. I was like, hey, you know what? I'm sorry, man. It was a tequila. People. Don't trip. Don't trip. Hey, gracias for coming, dog. Hey, let them know where you're, where we're going to be at, dog. The Volcom. December 18th and 19th, Austin, Texas. Can you know? I keep saying it wrong, bro. Is it Volcom or Voltum? Volcom. 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 Like Spell it. Volcano Spell it out. Kind of. Spell- Volcom. Yeah, Volcom. Calm down. V-U-L. Calm down, Tex Tejano. It's Vulcan, like, but we say Vulcan? it different. Spell it for me, bro. V U L C A N, right? Yeah, yeah. Vulcan. Is that a volcano? It no, kind of is with close to a volcano without but what does Vulc- Okay, it's exactly. Can someone the help o. me? What does Vulcan mean? What does the word Vulcan mean? I don't mean? know, but it's been But erupting. I want to know. I know. Respect. Respect for Vulcan. But I want to know what it means. I don't make me. That's how you spell it? No, you, you, tell, you no, tell us, tell us it. what no, it means, dog. Oh, I don't think it means anything. Just say, just or look it up. Ask it. Google Google it. Vulcan meaning the god of volcanoes and fire. Ooh, Spensa. Ora. You like it now? That's badass, bro. <laughs> hey, uh, hey, homie, thank you for letting me feature for you, dog. We're going to be at the feature. Vulcan. We're co head. By the way, I think I haven't mentioned this to you, bro. Well, I'm filming a special there. I know. I've seen it. They've okay, been posting whole it. Count crew. Yeah, yeah. And, um, I'm gonna film you too, fucking. Oh, just please, so you know, bro. Dog. Hey, I'm down, fool. No, no, bro. I'm down to let you film me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, Willie only knows how to say that. Cool. Hey, we're gonna film you, fool, right? You're like, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, eh? <laughs> hey, brother. Gracias. Also, we're gonna be at the comedy store. Look, everybody. A lot only 100 of, tickets left, bro. Only 100 tickets left. And dog. we just put it up two, three weeks ago. Yeah, not barely. Like, we've only posted it twice or three times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know what, though? The, uh, what I like about it is a, a lot of fools that know comedy are like, yo, this is a theater show. I'm going to tell, I'm tell, I'm tell you people something. The comedy store is iconic because of Richard Pryor and George Carlin, Straight Sam up. Kinison, Eddie Murphy. I mean, it is the most iconic place to work. I don't give a fuck what theater you sell out or whatever. But but George was passed like 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 he's brought in as a comedy store comic. I don't know if you guys know this, but I was they didn't want they didn't want me when I was in comedy. They told me like <laughs> suck a dick. But you they told they told they told George Lovett to suck a dick. Yeah, like yeah, George never got in either. We, I talked about that in his podcast. We both oh, told we were wow. both told to fucking de la verga. But this man is in there, and and wow. and for your listeners and your fans, bro, like we're so proud of you, bro. Thank all you, all of, all of us, Thank, all hey, of, coming all of, from you, brother. Gracias, no, all all of us, Gracias. all of us, bro. Are so proud of you, man. Gracias to be like in your names on the wall. Are you fucking kidding me, bro? I don't even know. You're up there with the best of the best in the world, and your name is there. I was so proud. You invited me the other day to come see you. Hey, I we was kicked amazed. It tough that and, night. And, and we were drinking. I saw your name. Fuck, bro. No, I like a la verga, bro. What, what, uh, uh, for Latinos out there, man, let's pack each other up, man. Straight I know. I, listen, listen. I know Black Lives Matter. Huh? I know. I know. <laughs> I know that you know white people. You guys pack each other up, but Latinos, man, come on, man. Let's fucking, you know, let's back each other up, right? Right. Dogs. right? Yeah, that's what I so. For real, hey, nah, like I've been locked up, and when I'm locked up, I'm like, fool. If we did this shit on the calle. <laughs> It'd be over. 
But yo, check it out. Um, I'm so happy that my boy Willie Barsena came. I'm going to be with him all the way from Thursday to Saturday, man. I'm excited to be with him. We're going to be at the Volcom Austin. Check it out. Friday, two shows. Saturday, two shows. Look, check it out. Don't wait for your fucking lady to sell your shit on an offer up to buy tickets. Go right now. Use your credit card. It's going to sell out. The walk-up ratio there is going to be ridiculous. And we're just excited. Willie's filming a new special on New Jokes. Make sure you guys check it out. Don't be a dick, bro. I will. We, me and Willie will also be at the Comedy Store December 15th. It's almost sold out. Uh, Los Angeles. Yes. People, all my Los Angeles people, you guys, all you fuckers, you always hit me up on social media. When are you going to be in L.A.? When are you going to be in L.A.? Uh, I'm going to be in L.A. De- it's December 15th to my people yes. and, and to George's people, man. Yes. And I hope I be, you know, we, we share each other's uh, uh, homies. Um, man, that's going to be a bad show, hey, bro. And the and, hey, by the way, by the way. That show only only happened because of because of George, man. No, nah, I told you, dog. I was gonna bring you in. We're gonna do this shit. Hey, look, everybody. Um, there's only a hundred tickets left. That's it, and it's like to the brim. There's thirty days left to sell a hundred tickets and get them because we're gonna drop some legendary shit there. You don't even know Willie's like trying to buy commercials on fucking <laughs> Elon Musk's Twitter feed. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, 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 Willie's like, hey, like, you ever seen like how Jay Z promotes his album? Willie's no, like, my man. Willie's like, hey, fool, we're gonna do a commercial in New York. I'm like, fool, the show's in LA. <laughs> He's like, don't come, dog. <laughs> but that's what I love, the vision, my boy. Love, love it, hey, dog. check it out. George Press Stories, episode 293. Willie Barcena, hey, always comes. And scratches the surface hard, huh? <laughs> that was a good time, yeah. Yeah, it was a great time, X, dog. Good time, thank, thank you. Thank you, X. Thank you, for X. Sure. Appreciate it, thank oh, you. Oh, oh, uh, thank you for uh, welcoming also, lips. me. Come over here, Lips. Lips, yeah, get lips. in, dog. Lips. Hey, he's going to be he's gonna be lips. the host, right? Lips is hosting in Austin. He's Say what's up, Austin. Lips. Show me the big Lips. Who, what up, people? <laughs> <laughs> hey, and... and, and uh, hey, his uh, lips are so big, his hat's pink. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you know, all my love and gratitude goes to, to George right here. So I just right want to thank him. you, brother. I just want to say thank you for having Gracias. me, Gracias. No, all I'm, the time. Hey, fool, I'm, it's I'm a very, pleasure. I'm, I'm very grateful. I'm, I'm very, grateful, too. I don't even feel like we're working, right? Hey, when Willie comes, it's like, hey, it's fun, dog. Yeah. It's a fun fucking time. Thank you, big dog. Hey, fool, he don't drive to get beer like he did today. He wouldn't what? have got you beer. Thank you, thank you, thank you, bro. You know, I'm a tequila beer guy, man. Yeah. And by the, to all my friends out there, man, that I drink and I drink tequila and I drink beer, if I ever fucking snap or say stupid <laughs> shit, come on, let it go, Holmes. Yeah. Anyways. That's what's up. Yo, this is George Press Stories, episode 293. People, you got two chances to see me and Willie in 2022 at the Volkin in Austin, Texas. The 18th and the 19th. Two shows on Friday, two shows on Saturday. Don't be a square. Be there. Also, December 15th at the World Famous Comedy Store in Hollywood. Willie Barsena is going to be doing an extended set. All the other comedians are going to be doing 15, 20 minutes. Willie's doing 40 minutes, guys, at the main room. Please be there. Check it out. Take a shower. Brown Power. This is George Perez Stories. Xavier. What's up? Hit that like button and get us to 10K. And then I'll be this Thursday with Sam Triple and Eddie Bobo at the rec room. So go get your tickets there if you're in L.A. Nice. We're, we're, bro, you at the rec room, bro? Yeah. Look at you, bro. That's a bad, I love that, that room. That place is cool. I worked it, bro. And the people that are badass, you're going to be there with Eddie Bravo. Sam Tripley. Sam Tripley. Yeah, he's going to be on you guys' show, too, though. So if you can't catch Look him in L.A. Look at you, rock star. Yeah. Hey, out of baby. What's up? Atta Yo. Baby. This is George Press Stories, episode 293. Take a shower, brown power, late. What's up, my boy?
From that city with juice, ain't no pity or truces When we dip in gun smoke's conclusive Don't act clueless, hella foolish in the 90s And GP shotgun, when we ride Solid on the yard, name hard on these streets Did my crimes, gangster rhymes on dope beats Still fuck laws, ain't no pause in our demeanor Rest in peace, Muggsy and my road dog creeper Ways to put it down, no fear of new cases Years ago, though, it was guns and chases 714 on my shoulders, kept it active Roll like soldiers, G-code ain't passive Still Mac and Ratchet, still packed at the waist Still stacking racks, still flash when they hate Now it's podcasts and videos with pretty hoes Me and George banging orange till the city's known Really though OG Brain We keep it moving smooth like In this industry, how we do we on these streets for sure? Streets for sure. We make that green, don't you put your good? We make it move all day, all day, all day, all day. Grew up in the streets of the LB. We don't love these hoes, what they tell me. Packed up and moved to the OC. Me and George Ball and like Shaq and Kobe. Fuck bitches get money, living wealthy. Bad bitches screaming, let me get a selfie. Big stop, she be some real G. Side dick is the general of an army. Egg she podcasting in the morning. Don't say F A, here's your warning. That other bullshit be boring. With some goofy ass question, that's corny. Tommy, let me finish my story. Shooting shots, game six, rubber ore. Smoking blunts in the bus while I'm touring. Now, welcome to George Perez Stories. OG Way. We keep it moving smooth like every day. Every day. They come and look at home and we don't go. We don't go. It's going down for sure, for sure. Real G's in this industry. Street.